her palindromes. Now, this is an interesting program. So, essentially, what is a palindrome? A palindromic number is one which is equal to itself when you reverse it. That's all there is to it. So if you have something like, say, 121 and you reverse it, you get 121 again. If I have something like 131, I reverse it, I get 131 again. If I have something like 142, I reverse it, I get 241. This is not a palindrome. Not a palindrome. So, how do you go about finding palindromes? Well, what you need to know how to do is reverse the number. Pretty obvious. And then you can check with the original number to see whether it's a palindrome or not. So, how does this work? Basically, to reverse a number, you need to know something that you learned in kindergarten. Yes, all those years of thinking that it won't come to use, it is coming to use now. So, if you have, let's say, 144, this is your 1's place, this is your 10's column, this is your 100's column. I don't know if you people remember this, but that's what you learned in kindergarten. And 144 can be written as 1 into 100 plus 4 into 10 plus 1 into 4 or 4 into 1 which comes to 100 plus 40 plus 4 which is 144 so how, how can you use this for palindromes well if you wanted to find 144 in reverse what would you get 441 what is 441? 441 is nothing but 4 into 100 plus 4 into 10 that's 440 plus 1 into 1 which is 441 so what was previously 1, 10, 100 now becomes 1, 10, 100 that's how the number got reversed essentially this is what got reversed now how do you do this in code? Essentially, I would advise using a while loop and while say C, if C is your number, is greater than 0, D, which is stands for digit, is C mod 10. Now, how does this work? C, let's say your number C is, um, let's say 42. What is the remainder when you divide 42 by 10? 10 goes 4 times, leaves a remainder of 2. So this, this digit here gets stored in C. So it becomes 2. That's just for illustration purpose. Now let's see you have a variable called R which stores your reverse. Now what I'm saying is R is equal to R into 10 plus D. So what's going on here? And let's say R begins to be 0. So if R is 0, 0 into 10 plus D, you get 2 over here. And I'll go through this again so you can understand clearly. Now you write C divided by equal to 10 and close your while loop. Now how does this work? C divided by equal to 10, which is just C is equal to C divided by 10. So, C is equal to C divided by 10 or C divided by equal to 10. What happens there? It does integer division. So, 42 divided by 10 is 4. And since it's integer division, all it will give you back is that 4. That point 2 will be chopped off. So, this is essentially called chopping off of the digit. So, here you get 4. Now, if C is again greater than 0. Comes in here. 4 mod 10 is just 4. Now, D, remember, R is 2. So, 2 into 10 is 20 plus 4 is equal to 24. So, there your digit has been reversed. Now, how does this work? What you need to pay attention to is the C mod 10, D is C mod 10, R is equal to R into 10 plus D, and C by equal to 10. This does integer division on C and returns the quotient 
I'm sorry, QO quotient. My U looks like a Q. Yeah, quotient. So when 42 is divided by 10, the integer quotient is 4. Even though it's 4.2, this gets removed. So that's that. C C mod 10. This returns the remainder. If you have 144 divided by 10, remainder is always 4. So you'll always get this last digit here. And now if I do C mod equal to 10 on this, what do I get? C divided by equal to 10, I'm sorry. I'll get 14 because this 0 0.4 will be chopped off. 14 mod 10 is again 4. So your digit keeps getting chopped off and you keep getting the, the digit. Now the most important part. Rev or R, um, I'm sorry, is equal to Rev into 10 plus D. How does this work? Now, when you extract characters, let's say you have 42, you extract 2, so Rev becomes 2, right? Now, when it multiplies by 10, what you're doing is essentially the whole changing the base if you have 42 and your columns are such that this is 1 this is 10 by doing this you're making this 1 and this 10 so 2 into 10 plus 4 into 1 which is 24 and essentially to finish off your code all you need to do is to check if rev equal to equal to n and if it is, then you can print palindrome. So essentially that's it for this program. I hope you guys could understand.